Israel is known as the startup nation, uh, and I think it's time that we pivot to our and channel our national energy, uh, which is uh, the energy of the people and the brain power, um, to fighting uh, climate change. In Israel, there's roughly four to five thousand uh, entrepreneurs who have already done uh, a round. Uh, so that they would be second time entrepreneurs. And uh, I think that rather than building another internet app or something, uh, <laughs> well, you know, they're, they're already said we can, we can uh, channel this uh, for, I think, the, you know, the biggest missions of our generation, which is to create a future for our, our uh, children and grandchildren. And that's what I'd be want to want to talk to you about how, how we can go about this and uh, really take this as a national mission. You know, my big belief is that we can solve climate change if we accelerate innovation. The green products today are quite expensive: green cement, green steel, uh, and we can't afford to subsidize that. Uh, and so, in in your first career, my first career, innovation was the key. Uh, I just say, love that comparison. <laughs> <laughs> as you say, you know, that's really what Israel's known for. Yeah. And not so much yet in the climate space. We have one company, H2Pro, right. uh, that we're very excited about that's doing a, a green hydrogen low cost right. electrolyzer. So uh, that's very pleasing. We, we not only need innovation in climate mitigation to reduce the emissions, we also need a lot of innovation in adaptation. Mm -hmm. And that's another area where a lot of the, you know, and this is in the Gates Foundation, we do agriculture, including both seed and livestock work. And so understanding, okay, where are the brilliant people in Israel who are thinking about these new techniques? Um, you know, the seeds are going to have to be very different to deal with right. the high temperature. You know, you already are dealing with uh, drought conditions, yeah. but that's going to be more widespread. So we were thinking, you know, where is, how do we connect up uh, and, you know, find more people who are doing mitigation type innovations, more people doing adaptation. Uh, you know, given the, the talent that you have and what we've seen in the digital space, you know, how do we uh, unleash more of that? So I'd, you know, love to take that R&D innovation push and figure out where Israel can uh, partner with them. We are very interested in your organization, um, maybe in a joint venture. Uh, we think that we have all the capabilities uh, with the people, and we need to bring it and push it forward. And um, as we see ourselves, Israel can be a very strong power in the climate change uh, fight. And uh, I think a joint venture would be really a great news for that.